I'm on the Quest 2. All right, we're going to go into Virtual Desktop and load up Borderlands 2. It's uh, showing the Quest 2 ringed controllers. And I actually have two questions regarding Borderlands 2 from, from viewers. And one is regarding the HUD. The other is regarding the controller bindings. Waiting for Steam VR to load up here. Here we go. Okay, so let's go on into Borderlands 2. Hopefully I get sound. As I tried earlier, I was able to get through with Steam Link, but I think I still prefer virtual desktop because of uh, vision settings that I have for virtual desktop. As you can see, it switches me to index style controllers. Since we're here, I'm going to go ahead and show you the options. So, first off, I'm going to talk about the HUD. So, here, there is a option for HUD alignment, and I just have no HUD. You could choose to have uh, the default, which does correctly show my health bar, minimap, quests, but the so tiny I mean tiny tiny there's no way I can read it and I can't see the mini map either so um, you could choose to have everything but the mini map you could have everything but the missions you could have no HUD at all I choose no HUD at all because I don't like the stuff floating in front of me especially since it's not anything that I can see anyway so that's where that is it's in gameplay HUD alignment and that is what's working for me I can only assume that you've already found this setting and tried it. So the only thing I can think of beyond that is just that I had a, a different uh, setup when, or a different experience in downloading. Maybe, I don't know if there's a brightness setting or a, excuse me, a display setting, video setting that would make any difference. Got view distance on high. I don't have much set there except to you know augment some things. Um, I mean, I have played with these settings higher and didn't have any issue view distance high, high, yeah um, okay comfort settings all right so I'm I am choosing the valve index controllers uh, tunnel vision is off because I don't like it my movement is for um, speed and Thumbstick movement, because that is what I am used to. Hive offset I have set to 27. It looks pretty good. Gun pitch I have at 45. With the controller grips, I had to change this a bit because it changed the angle at which I held the controllers. Okay. Uh, controls. Mm, motion controllers are set to default. I have walk and jump related to the head so that I can uh, shoot a gun a different direction than perhaps what I'm facing like to the side and not turn teleport movement is instant but I don't use it walk speed is fast turn mode is gradual I could probably turn that up a little uh, but I'm good with it now snap turn angle is 45 degrees Snap turn speed, don't use it, but it's normal um, because some of these other things override it. Gradual turn sensitivity is 7, and uh, lefty swap, don't need it. But if you do, then, you know, congratulations, you're a lefty. Yeah, I can't think of anything in visual that would change that. So let's take a quick look at the game. 
Hopefully it doesn't toss me into... Okay. I want Maya. Don't toss me into a new game that you sometimes do. There we go. Let's go to the valley. Alright. So, here we are. Good. We've got to switch guns here. Oh, grenade. Grenade. Bam. Should be able to press... There we go. Press forward on the thumbstick and down with the settings that I have chosen. And I'll show you what those are. Get out of here. Don't you go spit at me. Who else is coming? Okay, so there we go. Kill some skags. Uh, you see what it looks like with no HUD. I prefer this. This is. It's a little dangerous because you can't see your health. <laughs> And I'm not aware of the uh, ammunition counting problem that some people experience uh, simply because yeah, I don't need that. Yeah, I could probably sell that. Money. Oh, yeah, I... oh, my inventory is probably full. Um, let's just switch real quick using the Y button. I can go to my options or my in game if I hold Y. Just to let you know what the controls are. Let's go to gameplay. HUD. We're going to switch from no HUD to just default so you can see everything on. There we go. So here you can see, uh, let's just pass in front of it. Power to you. Your EXP, your your shield, your health. I assume what's over here is ammunition, probably. Yeah, two and four grenades. Because I can't really read the HUD anyway. I mean, I there's very little of this that I can actually read. Uh, I can't. Yeah, when the text when the text is nice and white, I can make out enough of it to guess. But when it's gray or blue, I'm nah, it's not going to work for me. So, um, but I can see the map well enough, so that works for me. And I can see a quest marker. So as long as I have the right quest, which I can make out well enough. To, to know what I'm going after. So, there, there's that. Okay. So, let's... Uh, whoop. Nope. I want the quick menu. I want the options. Let's go back into gameplay. And for me... Go ahead. Um, yep. That's it. That's all... That's all I got on that. I don't know what else to suggest as far as that goes. However, I'm going to press the left Oculus button while I'm paused here. Go to controller bindings to finish up on that. Well, I guess I'll go to video settings real quick. So video settings for the game. I have it set, and I'm pretty sure it set itself, 2056 by 2136. I'm not going to press change the default because I don't know what the default so is. Here we go. Controllers. Show bindings. So if you need to see what the bindings are on your controllers for the game that you're currently in, 
you can press that show bindings thing and it's going to pull up this and I will just well actually I'll scroll from top to bottom and if you need to pause you can and I'll move my head down in three two one so that you can see the bottom if you need to manually set these okay that should be enough time for you to pause the screen so if you want to get rid of these binding showings showing bindings uh, you just press close on that I'm not going to test the controllers because I know they work I don't have trackers so let's manage okay active controller is showing as the oculus touch but as you saw it was definitely showing uh, valve index controllers okay so let's, let's go to edit this binding okay so here is where you would go if you want to manually set your bindings I'm I'm not used to uh, playing Borderlands on a PC so I did not go this route I went with the custom bindings that were already made by somebody else and here's the one I used shared binding from EW in brackets Mitzi uh, fixes driving push which is something I mentioned in the comment that I replied with um, that I thought I had something to do with driving and I'm glad I remembered that correctly from probably six months ago fixes driving push to turn on oculus quest 2 uh, last updated on 7 July 9th 2021 and has played over 16,000 minutes in the last 30 days has played almost a hundred thousand minutes total so obviously these bindings did a good job for the person that played it and these numbers weren't quite as high when I first got it but I saw that there was a lot of play time on it and that's why I chose to test this binding setup and it works so you can go through find the binding that's this one because there are others um, as you can see so here's a quest 3 controller tilt fix I don't remember choosing that one I believe I chose the same bindings because the controllers are essentially the same I'm pretty sure I've got the same EW bindings on my quest 3 um, and some of these while they might be recent they just didn't do what I needed them to do so there we go so now you know which bindings I chose for Borderlands 2. There we go. Short and sweet. Second time I've made it because the first time I thought I was recording and I wasn't. So last time I checked with uh, uh, Steam VR connecting as well with Steam Link. And like I said, it just didn't work as well for me. As far as resolution settings go, uh, only thing I can think of is that there's you know some kind of conflict with what's on the screen and what's being cast to the headset I recommend virtual desktop I use Pluto sphere I use shadow I've used uh, Airlink. virtual desktop is by far my favorite way to go and I am connected via Ethernet cable or Ethernet cable potato potato um, and I'm running on 5.0 and it's a laptop well actually can I show you my computer so you know what system I'm using here's my system I am connected via Ethernet I don't know why it's not detecting I'm on the latest update so I'm using a GeForce 3060 laptop HEVC 10 bit Quest 3 has its own I had to change that actually for using the Quest 2 getting decent MS 
wish it was 50, but it's not. Uh, AMD Ryzen, but it uses the NVIDIA when possible. Plenty of memory because I have a backup drive attached to it via USB. Windows 11. Uh, you got to see the. Got to see what I'm using. Okay, that's it. Hopefully these settings helped out. Hey, I'm gonna get back into Borderlands. This is so much fun.